What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to round off about last time, um, we destroyed a Ottoman stack which was currently pushing south towards Athens and we also successfully captured a couple of ships that were trying to blockade the port of Taranto, bringing them into his majesty's service and we have also moved that navy over east to more directly face down um, Ottoman threats and we do want to build up another navy in the port of Syracuse. Um, ah yes, I forgot, we did also research joint uh, separation of powers, I'm sorry, um, and I'm probably going to want to go back and do some more economic tax first. Let's go, f eh, let's go for four field crop rotation to, um, to help upgrade our farms and also the fact that we need to start uh, picking off some of these quick win technologies as well, these cheap ones. We could go more down the naval route, but I'm actually okay with my navy at the moment. We don't really need range. We don't have enough men for upkeep. So I'm probably actually okay with going after. Maybe I might go for Coat Blast Furnace. So we're starting to get lots more actual um, classic industrial technologies researched. Venice has now brought in some marines because we do see a couple of irregulars moving around this um, area here. Um, just one sec, guys, got to clear my nose. Or and I'm back. Um, Okie dokie, so I don't think there's anything else we can really do this turn. We're moving our army east, ready to support. Um, putting Istanbul under siege and then securing this uh, the crossing of the Dardanelles giving us an option to either push north or push east um, I'm not entirely sure but right now I'm just okay with our steady as she goes strategy because right now things are fairly stable things are predictable we're in a good position strategically um, our garrisons are growing in both east and west hello you gonna come and you are and are you gonna block it somewhere a bit closer oh so the navy the ottoman navy is actually going on a concerted effort to try and dismantle our trade and those guys need to be destroyed. Those irregulars, we're not going to have them wandering around inside our territory. I could probably do with building a port, a, um, a fort, to blockade that northern pass. And dropping a few units in there. It's probably a good idea. Especially if the bulk of my forces are going to be away, fighting in different conflicts. So the main... So this is where movement might actually be quite handy. Um, so the main focus is going to be on trying to open up our main port. Uh, I'd probably like, as I build heavier fleets, the lighter fleets will become raiding fleets. But right now I don't really want to waste... Yeah, so technically we will be bankrupt next turn because we're losing all of our trade. So let's send... Hey, these are all the same type of things. Yeah, we'll be bankrupt because we'll lose all of our ports. So let's take... Well, what we might actually do... Let's take this fourth rate, sell them out. Sell you guys next to them. Give them a fourth and a fifth as just a bit of extra support because I definitely don't want to. Um, well, they technically, this is probably. I'll probably want to have more of my firepower taking on this navy up here. Even though I say firepower, I'm, I clearly outnumber them, and that's good. I want to outnumber them because I want to outgun them, and I want to capture their ships because. Potentially, this, this turn I'll have gained a 4th rate and 2 5th rates, which is actually quite a lot of expansion. And now I've got 2 fourths in my fleet. Okay, 
that's what I want. I want you deployed like so. The fourths are up front. Good stuff. Similar to last time, I want to capture their ships. I'm pretty sure this was there. This one was the previous. Yeah, for Delta was our um, was our original ship. So Monton de Oro, Mountain of Gold, I'd guess, is the first captured ship. So here comes Half Moon and Hassan Reis. Have I not got one of you? You definitely ring a bell. Let's drop anchor again, just to let them get within range. Because I don't want to move, I don't want to run my gun line forward so fast that we currently have no control. Probably want to do something like this. Uh, to be honest, this probably isn't wasn't as bad as it was before. Even then I started controlling ships more individually. Maybe stop doing that again. Why have we not got firing arms? All the way down. I don't have firing arms all of a sudden. I've pressed a button, that's exactly what I've done. Okay, I'm going to quickly sort this out because I need all the help I can get and I definitely don't want things like this to spoil my chances. So one second guys, I've got to try and investigate this weird problem. So I presume I must have done this. Toggle ship firing arcs and pressed the H hot key. And I did. For you to must drop anchor, chain shot. You sail on and get ready to engage this ship. These fifths just spin around. You keep firing round shots into half moon. Let's try and hobble the fifth rate slightly. on fire, which is obviously considering. You really did not like that broadside from them, did you? Come on for Delta, don't. We're not 13 guns aimed, but I'm going to have to fire because I can't afford to let them gain the gain the upper hand in that engagement. This is not handy. So I'm going to have to risk a chain shot and firing it into the mix and hopefully I cause them damage and not me. All these ships sail sail on rapidly. Full sail. See if you can slowly pivot to try and knock out some sails on half moon. Same with this guy actually. Leave your guns ready. Oh, they've got some. Fired off sun towards half moon. Get your next set of guns to be chain shot. So I'm pivoting these guys to try and get some shots onto half moon. If they can currently make it. Mountain Gold is looking very peaky. Pivot this guy. That would be a good shot. Come on, pivot. Pivot the old mucker. Okay. 
get over here at full sail. Firing round shot. It looks like these guys all just want to hunker down now. Fire! Half Moon is unhappy. Costanza might fancy some shots. Yeah, Mountain of Gold is routing, but it's okay as long as we don't lose them. That's the key thing. Full sail. Oh yes, Mountain of Gold has come back. So this guy's got chain shot loaded. Shots into Half Moon. Half Moon is surrendered. I'll try to spin this guy around completely so a different set of gunners are facing him. Half Moon is completely surrendered. Let's spin these guys around. You keep going. No, no, you don't like the way I'm making you turn. Mostly it will be hitting Half Moon. Hopefully they don't destroy the ship. You guys also fire chain shot to try and knock out some masts. Well, actually, one mast is knocked out, so we've immediately got a speed advantage. There goes another. So let's just round shot them for good measure. You're going to be out of it for a while. You are very poorly. And this poor soul is routing. So let's just absolutely continue. I want it. Fire well off. Good. I want to fire well off just in case they don't blow it up. So that's two ships joining the fleet and the resumption of trade and we are no longer bankrupt it's not enough to repair our fleet but then let's send this chap against Sayyid Hakim and let's go take another fifth rate and this rate will have quite a decent spread of ships obviously they're sailing against us So they are fifth rates. They're, they're well, they? They're not faster than us because we've got fifth rates. But they will be going mighty fast. And we will be looking to make you join the fleet. Unfortunately, all our ships become they become Italians. So they retain their colouring, except I think. Sometimes Spanish ships and French ships stay white when you've captured them, so they look more obvious as captured ships. To be honest, these guys just stay where they are. They're coming straight for us, so we don't want to outmaneuver ourselves because they're sailing towards our gun line. Whereas if I keep sailing forward, they might get in behind our formation. sailing with everything they got but I think it makes sense to stay still especially as it's just a lovely excuse there we go that's just a 
Let's get these guys spinning around. So they're going to get some good shots into the rear of our formation. But they're going to tangle. Especially as we can get some good ones into their formation. And we do have just more more firepower. And I'm running this at higher speed because it's a bit less tactical. We may not capture this ship because they may be able to successfully escape. Let's get ready for them to make sail and advance at high speed again behind us. So we want to get our formation turned around. Although it looks like they're onto that. So now it's time to ungroup and just pivot. So the fourth rate can keep going around, the fifth rate can my fifth rates can spin around. So the fourth you keep going. You will be in range to drop some chain shots in not very many minutes. You can probably loop around as well. So the Nuhan Bahari will be isolated for a period. If you keep straling, sailing straight at full sail, you will be within range. minor hits. Pick up the broadside in from the fourth rate. Let's keep pivoting. Let's begin the pivot with our ships. Full sail. Yeah, you're going to get some good hits into the back of... Oh no, you're aiming at Jove. Poor you. Let's keep the fifth, the fourth rate angled to keep engaging. And we're also going to be in range of some more chain shot. No masts, sadly. on a bit faster because right now we're occasionally keep pivoting these ships so they keep firing broadsides okay now you're ripe to fire chain shot She dismasted. Yes, continue. Yes. The Turkish Navy... Not the Turkish Navy. Well, yeah, the Turkish Navy shrinks. Look at that. Let's take these ships, less the brig, back to Syracuse. Let's bring these guys, less the sloop... No, you better stay where you are, just in case someone bigger comes along and kills you all. We aren't bankrupt anymore, sonny boy. And we're going to come after you. And there's not a lot you can do about it. Also, bearing in mind, our armies are pushing. So next turn, we're going to be ripe to lay siege to their capital. A couple more upgrades. Sweet. Eduardo Setti is upgrading his skills. Confident Admiral, Brave Sailor, Blockade Runner. Awesome. That was that fourth rate we recruited previously. Sweet. So now we are no longer going to be bankrupt. Let's hit end turn. And, well, crucially, oh dear. 
Oh, we at war of Britain still. I think we are. So Britain could be about to do something very frustrating. But at the very least, we've got time. Then again, well, I'm probably, I'm pretty sure we're probably at war. Yep, they're going to go blockade the port to the south, but that's okay. Oh, good job I didn't do anything about them. <laughs> they're ripe, or well, they were ripe for routing. So let's check our relations with Britain. By the looks of it, we are trading with them, I think. Maybe. Or that yellow could just be indicating its allies and enemies rather than my own trade and enemies. Then again, do I even have any allies? Hmm. Here come the Barbary States. So we don't have a good view on where the... Oh, there we can... We just saw the back end of the British Navy ships, actually. So... We can go and have a look. New model bayonet drill. Lovely. Key priority task. Repair our navy. So there's the Royal Navy. Their, arm, their navy's pretty... God damn. He's a good admiral. Yeah, I'm currently at peace with them, but that looks like an invading army... If ever I've seen one. So, at the very least, I can recall my Venice garrison back to Rome if they want. If they want to get up to some shenanigans, or I could just recruit some of my own troops. I need something fast, so none of these special two-turn units will do. Might even just be line. Just to get the numbers. Yep, they've blockaded my port for now. I don't want to do any damage here. Just trade, or just raid the trade. Which I could break the port, but like I said, I want to keep it. So... I mean, this force like is replenishing. Who's replenishing? Oh yeah. This navy, this unit needs to replenish, but I can't afford to do it. So Rafael Genovese, put the city under siege. Let's bring Ernesto up for reinforcement. Seviano Flacastoro. Oh, that's one of our ministers. He's doing pretty good. We've got some pretty good ministers. Um, no one else seems to be. By default, better than any of them. I could do with a better head of government. I mean, we're trading with Britain, so I don't know. Who are they at war with? The Barbary States. They might be going after the Barbary States. Sometimes Britain does take tuners. Which I'd be fine with. There's some flutes. Prince William, Rhineland, Boyd Sailor. Boat Sailor? Um, I could actually do with going to Bologna and taking one of these gentlemen away to help support Verona. Just to make sure I've got a bit more of a balanced um, split. So let's get Bologna working on... National debt would be great to get that upkeep. You know, it's reduced upkeep across the board for my armed forces and increasing town wealth, which is great. But so is joint stock companies. Plus six per turn to town wealth, plus eight percent wealth generated by all buildings. What's not to like? Could probably do with clearing these guys out, but to be honest, they're not doing much. It's a very poor trading port, so it's not necessarily producing much income. For us, and the main priority is to keep knocking out the Ottoman Navy. Really. Sweet. So let's hit end turn. Hey, they did. They took Tunis. 
Called it. <laughs> Phew. They did, they did have me concerned, but at the very least, the army, those couple of units I recruited in Rome, they can start to become a third force to go and secure my... Oh, God. <laughs> That's a lot of guys. Maybe that army I had, those couple of infantry units I've got set to the west, um, I may want to bring them in. Make them head east at all speed, rather than guarding Greece. Although, here's an interesting idea. If I take this fleet, if I give um, Hanesh Yamad, I want to give them an admiral. And I take these guys and I drop them off here. This infantry can no longer support the city fight because I control the strait. So that's quite conveniently dealt with, with them. And we've also got these chaps down here. We provide the opportunity to add even more ships to our navy. So let's take you guys. Let's go take them out. Let's keep hoovering up these offerings, these delicious little morsels that the Ottoman Empire are sending our way. Again, we're completely against the weather. I always like put my admiral at the back, because at the front, my ships at the front of the formation usually end up taking the most damage, understandably. Oh, nuts. Is that, that's my admiral there. No matter. You will be safe. Because these guys are making full sail over towards him. His job's going to be just to get away. Montondoro. For Delta. The newly, newly acquiesced. Or the newly acquired half moon. And there we go. You thought you'd get my admiral, didn't you? But in fact, he's going to sit this side, spin around, let's go still. So you guys drop anchor. this up front. This is the fifth up front. So just let them rain fire. I probably do want my fifth over here to help support the fight against the fourth rate. I probably do now want to keep them sailing. This poor, this poor fifth rate is just going to get eviscerated. Your Albert. No, you're not. He's just in range. If I chain, which means you definitely will be. So let's detach these fifths. Let's continue engaging Hassan Pasha. To be honest, let's. Also disengage you to also continue to engage. You're probably going to get into a good position to start lobbing off some chain shot. My admiral's plinking some shots off the rear. Detach you from the group. Not be far off firing another round of chain shot. Go on, 
knock a mouse down. That was a great set of shots. Okay, let's go pivot aggressively. You now start firing chain, you start firing round shot. All I need is this chap at the front for Delta to knock down a mast. The ship will be ours. Take the ship. Have you surrendered. You have surrendered. You're on fire, so you're still at your risk of blowing up. Dismasting this fifth. Keep the broadside on Samurai's fresh. Let's get a good, strong blast of round shot into the hole. down. Allow Aurora to get some shots off. Costanza is to the rear. Aurora, speed up. Absolutely continue. There's a rolling broadside that crashes in. Close victory. It wasn't close. That was a delicious victory. Mm, so tasty. Look at that. They are literally giving us more ships than we can. We're capturing ships faster than we can um, than we can build them, realistically. Sweet. Okay, yeah, trade route raided. Oh no, that's my guy. Good. Ordini, Capitano. So yeah, so deploying this navy means we have freed up, or we've prevented one and a half entire stacks from reinforcing. So they've got a bunch of junk in the city. A pretty junk army outside. But that's exactly the sort of army I want to see breaking against our wall. Rather than us, us attack it. And there goes the Royal Navy. Perfect. See, the reason why I love capturing ships from other navies so much is that it represents almost a, a double gain. So not only are we growing our navy strength, mm -mm. Mm. not only are we growing our navy strength, we are also depleting them of theirs. So, it, so the Delta suddenly becomes... You know, the, the divide between the fleets has become... Oh, God! Oh, no, I don't want to fight that! Uh, run away! <sighs> These guys are going to go down fighting. Hey, they lost five ships. Uh, did we... Did we capture one of theirs? Either way. If they want to chase us down, they can chase us down. They now have the option... I was about to say they have the option to support their navy, but whatever. Um, at least our navy is intact. And we can uh, escape the Black Sea with it. And we can also replace it in position with our large fleet. And don't worry, I did not forget that Spanish navy, that Spanish army that landed outside Naples. I did not miss them. Fortunately, it's a pretty junk army. We've got some elite units, but it's all pretty roughshod. So, let's take you. Let's get you back to Heracleon. Where you can reinforce. Let's take our larger and now our more powerful navy. 
should sit here. Because these guys are depleted. Significantly depleted. Let us start to build an army to take out A, this Spanish army that's about to take out Naples. Let's keep our ships sat in port for now. There's no good trying to deploy troops to stop them, I think. Because they've got lots of elite infantry, so I probably want a decent army to protect them. These guys want to hightail it. Oh, do I hightail? Ooh, here's a question. No, I think I still want to develop these guys into a proper na proper army because I want to take out Corsica and also Sardinia anyway so it makes sense to actually build a proper army back here. We can probably afford to take a bit of time to do it. Sweet. You guys hightail it east. Good. Let's make sure we're not upgrading anything in Naples so we don't lose it immediately. Good. Trade raided. That's our guy again. Because you've got a great arsenal. We also need to build a gunnery school, but I cannot. Actually, that's a point. Verona, get on to reorganise procurement. Although you're. Eh. Hold on, let's get Verona, Bologna on to reorganise procurement. That's done in six turns. These guys can go on to join stock companies. That'll be done in four turns. Sweet. Let's send a unit of howitzers down towards Rome to back them up. Awesome. Let's hit enter. The Brits have destroyed the pirates, and it looks like they've actually. I don't know they, well, they must have won again in the fog of war that we can't see. The Spanish are attacking us. Oh, if I reinforce this army, we could have actually done something. Nevertheless, let them take it. There's a real risk that some of our ships may get caught by the Ottomans at sea. The Ottoman fleet has returned to port. All the while, the pressure is mounting on Istanbul. They require some sort of relief, yet none is coming. Which is such a pity. Okay, so let's move my Briggs and let's move my Jebek back to friendly ports. Yeah, we've got some more cash, but we're about to spend it on troops. More's the pity. And let's get some more line infantry. Good. You're about to be reinforced with a howitzer. Good. So in three turns, this guy will be ready to rock and roll. Well, this army will be ready to rock and roll. If they wish to push against Rome, which I doubt, we'll easily be able to see them off. Because we'll have a hefty garrison and we've got some good artillery inside the city. Let's take this navy and let's do some... Although the Ottoman... The Ottoman's currently trading zero. I mean, this guy's not doing a I mean, this is their, usually their home port, Thessaloniki. Well, either way, send our ports on some ships on some raiding missions. Might be worth actually sitting in their dockyard to just completely prevent them from building any naval vessels. But this is definitely worthwhile sitting here just to cut off the reinforcements. I'm gonna, even though I'm over my part oh god where are you going oh damn the Spanish are on the march so I'm going to have to fall back one of my supporting armies <laughs> 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 
just as I say that. Okay, so we're definitely going to want to try and do as much damage as possible with Rafael Genovese's army so that this guy in the rear can stay supported. But looking at the timer, that's definitely time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for a giant battle before the walls of Istanbul. Cheers, everyone.